Thanks for joining me guys for another 15 minute workout at home. This is Lisa, I'm gonna be instructor walking you through this ILKB workout. So get ready, we're gonna focus on lower body today. So make sure you guys shake it out, grab your water and get ready. All right guys, we're gonna start with some jumping jacks. Let's warm it up, get those arms up over your head. Make sure you guys are breathing in through your nose, out through your mouths. As you still have to feel your body warm up, try and move your jumping jacks a little faster. Remember, we're focusing on lower body today. Lower body. So we're gonna pick it up in a couple seconds with some surrenders. Now I might stop, but I want you guys to keep going. I'm gonna demonstrate the surrender. We're gonna start it up in a couple seconds. You're gonna go down, down, up, up, and alternate those legs in three, two, and one. Surrender it out. Remember, you wanna keep it low. You don't wanna bring your body up. The whole idea is to keep all that tension on your muscles and your quads. Feel it, should be burning right about now. Down, down. Up, up, down, down, up, up. Breathe, breathe. Keep it low, keep it low. A couple more seconds, we're gonna go into some basic squats, but keep those surrenders up. We got three, two, and one. Squat it out, squat it out. Okay, you wanna try and drop your butt as low as you can to the mat. And breathe. Push up through those heels. You guys should be able to wiggle those toes, okay? Push up. If you guys can't wiggle your toes here, it means you're, you're shifted too far forward, shift your body back. We're gonna shake it off in a couple seconds with fast feet. In three, two, and one. Fast feet, fast feet. Again, you wanna watch off the balls of your feet when you do this. You wanna be light on your feet, nice and quick. You guys keep moving. I'm gonna demonstrate the next exercise. We're gonna do alternating lunges. So, we want to do a step out and then back in and alternate those legs. Again, pushing up through the heel. That's our goal here. Push up through that heel. In four, three, two, and one. Let's get it going. Alternate those lunges and breathe. Now you guys should be feeling this in your quads. The more you push up through that heel, the more you're going to feel it in that quad. What's up, buddy? Want to work out? Keep it moving. We're gonna jump, I'm gonna add a little jump to this in a couple seconds. Okay, so as you guys are continuing to do these lunges, when I say go, instead of stepping out, we're gonna switch it and we're gonna jump. In three, two, and one. Jump it out, jumping lunges. Try and get nice and low. As you're jumping, that back leg still wants to be at a 90 degree angle. Again, you're still launching off the ball of your foot and your heel to make that transition. Come on, stay with me. Couple more seconds here, we're gonna do some shadow boxing. We'll give our legs a little bit of a break for a second. Stay with it and breathe. You guys got four, three, two, and one. Bring it up, let's shadow box. Jab, cross. Keep those hands up near your face. Don't drop those hands and turn that body. Focus on turning that body. You guys wanna feel this in your midsection. You guys can go nonstop, or you guys can do that one-two combo. You guys are throwing that one-two combo. Make sure you're pivoting on that back foot and you're squeezing those abs when you turn. Let's keep it moving. We're gonna get those legs a little more involved now in a couple seconds with high knees. In three, two, and one. Get those knees up, get them up. Make sure you guys are giving a little bit of a lean back. And breathe. Breathing is super important. Again, I know if you've guys taken class with me before, or you've tuned in for one of the other 15 minute workouts, when you breathe, you allow your body to do a little bit more for you. It's gonna cooperate. If you don't breathe, your body's gonna be super stiff. A couple seconds here, we're gonna drop down for a plank. In three, two, and we'll drop it down. Right here, we're gonna go right into those froggies. Let's get it started right away, right into those froggies. You wanna take those feet and bring them to the outside of your wrists. And again, like that surrender, keep it nice and low. You guys are gonna feel that in your quads. Get it out and in. Keep it up, keep it up. As you guys extend those legs out, make sure that back is nice and level. So again, no arching here and no slumping here. Keep those abs tight. That's how we maintain that flat back, that flat back rather. And squat hold for me, squat hold right here. We're gonna add that jump now in three, two, and one jump squats. As you do these jump squats, remember you wanna land back in that squat, you don't want to jump 
and be up here. Too much for the knees. Land here. Keep it moving, launching off the balls of those feet. Point those toes. That'll help you launch off the balls of your feet. Stay with it. We got reverse lunges in three, two, and one. So like the alternating lunges that we did before, this time we're gonna step backward. Step back, step back. And again, as you do this, make sure you maintain some space between your feet. If you guys are acting like you're on a tightrope, you're gonna fall over. Put your hands on your hips, keep them up by your face, and alternate those lunges. Remember that knee should slightly kiss, kiss the mat. You don't want your knee to hit the mat. For a couple of seconds, we're gonna shake it off, fast feet. In three, two, and one, shake it out, shake it out. I don't know about you guys, but I'm already feeling the burn. Again, really wanna work out that lower body to the max. You got 15 minutes here. We wanna really push it. You guys need to stop, grab some water, of course do so, and then hop right back into it. We got burpees coming up, I just wanna prepare you. I wanna see these burpees, I wanna see you do the best you can do. So as you drop those hands to the mat, shoot those feet out again, keeping that back nice and level, bringing those feet to the outside of the wrist like those froggies, and launch up in three, two, and one. Here we go, burpee it out. Try and get height. Wanna try and drill nice and high with these burpees. Try and get height. We're gonna shake it off in a couple seconds with jumping jacks, so give me as many burpees as you can. Don't slow down. We're gonna get a chance to shake it out with those jumping jacks. So push it, now's the time. Here we go, a couple more seconds. Three, two, and one. Back to those jumping jacks. Whew. Make sure you guys are breathing. Okay, if you guys need to stop, grab some water, do so. We got a couple seconds here. I'm gonna drink my water. We're gonna go right into surrenders. Stay with it, those jumping jacks. We got surrenders coming up in four, three, two, and one, down, down, up, up. Down, down, up, up. Again, keep it nice and low. I like to keep my hands up by my face. Sometimes I'll touch the ground in the middle to ensure that I'm keeping my body down. It's pretty hard to be down here and up here at the same time. So let's keep it going. We got regular squats coming up in a couple seconds. I want you guys to hold that squat. Hold it, hold it. Give me the bounce. Give me the bounce. You can always get weights in your heels. We're gonna do those squats in a couple seconds. Three, two, and one. Squat it out. All the way down. You get to the top, squeeze those glutes. Don't miss out on the, that percentage of that work out there. When you get to the top, don't just stop. There's a little bit of a percentage here where you can work those glutes in. So squeeze them at the top, down and up. Thrust those hips forward if you have to to get that squeeze. We're gonna shake it off in a couple seconds with fast feet. So keep squatting it out. Squat, squat. All the way down, all the way up. We got four, three, two, and one. Fast feet, fast feet. Whew. How you guys doing out there? I hope you guys are doing all right. Remember, grab that water when you need it and make sure to breathe. We're gonna go back to those lunges. Keep moving, keep moving. We're gonna step forward again. Alternating and pushing off that heel in just a couple seconds. So take advantage of these fast feet. Shake those muscles out. Shake them out. Whew. We got four, three, two, and one. Let's go with those alternating lunges. And then you guys want to exhale where it's the hardest. So as you're pushing up here, exhale. Breathe it on the way down and exhale on the way up as you guys are pushing through that heel. Stay with it, we're gonna add that jump. We're gonna go into jumping lunges in a couple seconds. Again, pushing off the ball of your foot and your heel. In three, two, and one, let's go. Try and get nice and low if you can. Try and get nice and low. We're only here for a couple seconds, so really work it. Nice and low, again, launching off the ball of your foot and your heel. And breathe, breathe. I know those legs are on fire, but let them be. Push through your comfort zone. Push through that plateau. That's how we get to the next level. Stay with it, because we want to shake it off in a couple seconds, so push it right out to the end. Let's go. We got shadow boxing coming up in four, three, two, and one. Back to that shadow boxing. Woo. Make sure you guys are turning, turning. And breathe. Again, you want to make sure you're keeping your hands up. All right, don't drop your hands. 
You guys want to use those shoulders with every punch, whether you're going fast or whether you're going slow. Use those shoulders. Remember, all of your power in kickboxing is in your hips. You want to make sure you're turning those hips. Or if you choose to go fast, still making sure those hips are turning. Stay with it. We got high knees coming up in a couple of seconds. We're going to shake it out in four, three, two, and one. High knees. Let's go. Here we go. Again, get those legs nice and high. Your bodies are all warmed up now. If you guys notice, there's been a pattern to this. I've got a bunch of exercises. We're running through them three times, and we're almost through halfway, I would say, at about now. So your muscles should be feeling good. You should be feeling looser. So make sure you're getting those knees up. We got a plank coming up in four, three, two, and one. Woo! Yeah, for those of you guys that have a really good memory, you guys remember what came after these planks. Those froggies, so let's start them up. Let's go, start them up, start them up. Keep it nice and low, nice and low. Froggy it out. Right here, you guys are also working your upper body along with your lower body. So as you guys are kicking out, you guys are using all your shoulder muscles here. You guys are also using your abs. And as you come in, you guys are feeling that in your quads. I know you are. Stay with it. We got jumping squats coming up in four, three, two, and one. Jump it out. Let's go. Use those arms to help you guys get a little height here. Unlike sit-ups where you want to throw those arms, here you want to use it. It'll help you get momentum and get height. This is where you want to use it. Stay with it, guys. We've got reverse lunges in a couple seconds, and we're going to step back, alternating those legs. In four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Reverse lunges. Again, when you're doing anything like this, you want to make sure your knee and your ankle are in line. You don't want to have your knee over your ankle. Too much stress for the knee. If you find that's happening, shift your body back a little bit. You may need to be taking a larger step backward. All right, you can do this slow until you find your sweet spot and then pick up the speed. I know those legs are on fire. Keep going. We're going to shake them off in a couple seconds with fast feet. In four, three, two, and one. Fast feet, fast feet. Whew. We're almost halfway there, guys. We got one more exercise. Actually, we're more than halfway there. We got one more exercise before we go through this one more time. Again, when we do something more than once, we want to make sure we do it better the second time, the third time. Improve on whatever it is that you didn't think you did very good last time. So either go harder, go stronger, whatever you need to do. We got burpees coming up. In four, three, two, and one. Burpee it out. Let's go. Get high. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Stay with it. We're going to move to this list one more time. With all these exercises one more time. But stay with those burpees. We're going to shake it out before we do it. We're going to do those jumping jacks in a couple seconds. We got jumping jacks coming up in four, three, two, and one. Woo. This is it, guys. Last time we're running through these. We got those surrenders coming up when I say go. You guys know what to do. Those arms all the way up, all the way up while you're doing these jumping jacks. I see a lot of this. You're not really maximizing. All the way up. Work those shoulders. Surrenders coming at you in a couple seconds. Keep going, keep going. We got four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, surrender it out. Again, you guys can keep your hands just about anywhere. Just make sure they're not on your legs. You know, I keep them up on my head. You guys can keep them low to make sure that your body and your center of gravity stay down. And alternate those legs. As you guys are bringing those legs to the outside, make sure you guys are going out and out. That's where you want to be, out and out. Stay with it. We got regular squats coming up. We got four, three, two, and one. Whew, here we go. Last time with these squats. As you do this, you want to make sure that your legs are about shoulder width apart. So you don't want to be out here. You don't want to be in here. All right. The squat in particular requires your legs to be shoulder width apart. And as you do this, you kind of want to make sure that your toes are pointing forward a little bit. You don't want them inward. And think about pushing those knees out. A couple seconds. We've got fast feet. Three, two, and one. Fast feet. Here we go. Shake it out. Woo! Make sure you guys are hydrating. Remember, there's these quick transitions here. So you've got plenty of time to grab that water. Quickly transition back into the workout. Keep those feet moving. We're going to do those alternating lunges again. Again, we're going to be stepping forward with these. 
push with the heel. In four, three, two, and one. Here we go. Step it out. I know those legs are on fire, those quads must be ripping. It's all right, they're ripping, it means you're doing it right. If you're not feeling that burn, you gotta assess your, your, your form here. Make sure that knee and that ankle are in line. Make sure that that back leg is at a 90 degree angle. Make sure you're pushing up through that heel. Stay with it. We're gonna go back to those jumping lunges again. In four, three, two, and one. Let's go, jumping lunges right here. Jump it out, jump it out, jump it out. Come on, stay with it, we're almost there. We're gonna shake it out with some shadow boxing next. Jump, 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 try and get height if you can. And as you guys land, don't land here, try and land nice and low like you would in your actual lunge position. Here we go, we got shadow boxing coming up. We're gonna jab cross again. Again, you guys can go fast or you guys can throw that one-two combo. In three, two, and one. Here we go, here we go. So myself, I like to switch it up. I like to go so a little bit fast and a little bit more focusing on that, that form. And you can do that when you slow it down. Remember, you're never ever gonna pivot on that front foot for your jab. That's your setup for your cross. All right, so you wanna think about punching out with those first two knuckles. You can slightly turn those knuckles down a little bit so your thumb is down a little bit. And that'll help you get the right form. A couple seconds, we're back to those high knees. In three, two, one, let's go. Waste no time, waste no time. And make sure you guys are breathing. Again, bring those knees up nice and high. So this is like a pathetic fast foot, okay? Here, we're bringing those knees up nice and high. Okay, everybody's got a different range of motion, so you do what's comfortable for you. Just make sure you're pushing yourself. Don't jip out, because I'm not in your living room with you. We're gonna drop it down for that plank. In four, three, two, and one, plank it out, plank it out. You guys know where we're going with this. Let's just get it going. Froggy it out, get it going. Kick those feet behind you. Remember when you kick behind, you're in that plank position. Okay, working your abs, working your quads, working your shoulders. Bring those feet in. You guys are gonna feel that in those quads. Keep it low, keep it low. We're gonna go into some jump squats in four, three, two, and one. Jump squat it out. All the way down, all the way up. Jump squat it out. Try and get height. And again, most importantly, when you land, don't stop yourself and land here. Land in that squat. It should be seamless. It should be fluid. This is a very uh, body-friendly workout. So make sure that you go. It's all about following the motion. All right, when you're up, you're gonna follow that motion all the way down. We got reverse lunges in three, two, and one. Let's go, lunge it out. Reverse lunges. Again, if you guys are not able to align that knee and that ankle, take a bigger step backward. Reverse lunges. Stay with it. You got burpees coming up, guys. Burpees coming up. But you know what? Let's shake it out with some fast feet because I'm sure you guys have those quads on fire. So let's shake it out with some fast feet. In three, two, and one. Shake it out with fast feet. Shake it out, shake it out. How mean of me to throw you right into burpees after those reverse lunges. <laughs> shake it out. I'm giving you this opportunity to shake it out because this is the last time we're gonna do these burpees. So I want you guys to give me your all, all right? We have less than a minute in this workout. All right, I want you to push it. I want you to keep going. Don't stop, go hard, we're going out strong. In three, two, and one. Let's go, burpee it out, burpee it out. Get those hands to the mat, kick those legs out. Bring them to the outside of your wrist and launch up. When we're 10 seconds away from the end, I will count you down. I want you guys to keep moving. When you guys hear me count down from 10, I want you guys to go harder and faster and stronger right to the end. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, keep moving. Five, four, three, two, and one, time. Guys, nice job. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for allowing me to work out with you guys. Hope you guys are being safe, being well, and staying hydrated until our next 15 minute workout.